Hey, what is up, paleo bros and paleo sisters? What's going on? I hope y'all are in good health and uh, happy, happy, happy. In front of us, we have a family, uh, family affair of paleo trexes and uh, P-trex, spindle, uh, skelivore, and transmutate, and so four of them combined to create this skittle zord, so to speak. And um, I'm not really touching them too much right now because, dude, the spindle legs are so horribly weak and floppy. Uh, he's been. This is like, honestly, this is like my fifth or I think it's the fifth video because he's just been flopping and making a mess. And so I'm going to try to gingerly guide him around while oh, see, 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 I could feel him wanting to fall down so I can give you kind of like a good three, six look. Got to constantly hold the back, support the back um, here. So that's kind of what the back looks like. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. It would be much cooler if it wasn't just like falling all over the place. Uh, I got to stop being so bitter about it. Yeah, I'm I'm just really upset, you know. I mean, one, I think I hold Hasbro in a higher regard. I hold them to a much higher standard. And also, I paid good money for this toy. Good money. You know, my money wasn't compromised, yet I'm getting a product that's compromised. And I don't feel good about that as a consumer. Really, really. It's almost to the point where I want to... <laughs> I want to send videos to like um, Mark and uh, Ben, you know, the guys over at like Hasbro and to be like, dude, look, look at this. Look at this. How is this acceptable? You know, but whatever, whatever. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I don't mean to. I don't like getting too negative on these videos and I generally don't. But this one, this one got me. This one got me. Um, but anyway, let's talk about how to make this guy. And so once I start unplugging him, I am not going to put him back together. OK, so I mentioned it on a couple of other videos. Humpty Dumpty scenario. He is not coming back together again. And so take him all in. Um, here, I'll give him a good pose. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's take him all in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm going to crack him open. So we're going to start with the lower half. Thank you. Thank you so much, by the way. Thank you so much for falling apart, by the way. Yeah, I, re I really appreciate that. You know that we're on camera over here. Everyone's watching. I really, really appreciate that. I really, really do. All right, guys. <sighs> okay. So here are the legs. Yes, they are doing a little bit better because they don't have that weight, but trust me. <sighs> trust, trust, trust. When I tell you that P-Trex and the rest of the gang would not have had that problem. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. <laughs> So up at the top, it's really easy to recognize that those are just the thighs. Those are just the thighs. And uh, I'm not going to say anything more negative. All right, I'm just going to remove these thighs. These are spindle thighs. Gone. Now, each leg is made the same way. And what you're doing is you have the blade bit. You want to spin this around because originally, when it's like this, there's too much of a hollow gap over here. And I didn't like that. So, uh, And I mentioned that, you know, in the community tab. I was like, hey, I want to address this hollow tab. So you just spin this. Uh, it doesn't pour into anything. It just kind of like, you know, fills that gap. Then you hug that with the thighs. And then you plug in the dino uh, face torso thing with the jaw um, extended. And then in the back, you plug in a buckler. And that's it. That's one leg. Same thing on the other side. I mean, you can color coordinate however you want. I mean, I kind of like the symmetry. I like kind of cutting it down the middle. I think it's kind of cool. But same thing. Axe bit. Spin that top part around. Hug it with the thighs and plug in a a opened uh, dinosaur jaw, and um, yeah, and plug in a buckler on the back, and that's it. So we're gonna move up to the side. This is pretty cool, right? I think this is pretty neat, and um, obviously I am recording in vertical mode just because uh, my setup's not good to have them horizontal, and uh, so it goes, so it goes, my bros and sisters. So I think this is really cool how I have the kind of like the crest, the dinosaur face. Uh, it's almost like a hat kind of. Um, I, I think that's really, really cool, like a helm, so to speak. And um, the easy thing that we can do is just remove the back part. Not so easy. The back part is just one of the thighs. It's the Paleotrex thighs specifically. And then you have two full tails plugged in. And then you have a calf uh, arranged like so and you have the tails plugged in like that and it just becomes these cool like spikes and spears that adorn the back of uh, the build what's kind of cool is when you look at it from the back this almost looks like another bot you know because he has the face backward and so when you have this plugged in this almost looks like 
just a crest, you know what I mean? And so anyway, so yeah. So this middle part over here is utilizing the spindle torso and it has the head plugged in just like standard dinosaur mode. And you can see that there's a variety of things that are actually plugged in over here. Um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to understand everything because honestly, after I build these things, sometimes I forget, sometimes I forget, I'm like, man, how'd I do this, dude? Uh, so let's start with some, here, let me examine this. How do we have this going on? How do we have this going on? My Lord, my Lord. <laughs> okay, okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. All right, all right, I understood it. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. Man, it is a whole bunch of different connectors. Uh, the main thing is these things over here, the frilly part of the tails, they are actually plugged into the Paleotrex torso. Okay, and um, I'm wondering if I could just peel those guys off and then the rest will come off. I might be able to do that. Yeah. There we go, Johnny. All right. So right in the middle, we have the Paleotrex. It's going to be super blurry right now. But it's the Paleotrex torso, right? The the dino head and the robot head. And, okay. So now... I'm going to peel this all off. All right. I don't, you know what? This may have been a mistake. Yeah, it may have been a mistake. May have been a mistake. Okay. I'll try to explain this. Yeah, hold on for a second. All right. Sorry about that. I had to figure out how to best explain this to you because there's a lot of uh, points of connection. The easiest thing to do is we're just going to remove this top claw because there's only one point of connection. And that top claw is plugged in to this frilly thing, the, th the, the thing that was adorning the side of the Petrex body. OK, that's just that was just there. So we just remove that part. All right. And so now I'm going to remove this buckler and you might be able to see more on the inside. Okay, so what's happening is we have a calf piece that's plugged in right here to that frilly thing, right? And then what's happening to that calf piece is you extend, you know, there's that little peg on the inside. You have to extend that peg out so that it attaches to this. And I'm going to I'm going to show you. You so that it attaches to the little hole next that little thing, you know, over here on the inside. Um and then this foot's going to connect to the back, but okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's just remove the arm. Let's remove the arm. This arm is, uh, this, cause it's just layered on here. Um, okay. Look, sorry about that guys. This is a bit of a complex build and I didn't expect to get, uh, I mean, I'm a little bit flustered by the way, just cause, uh, dude, spindles looseness sucks. Frilly part, calf, peg extended, okay? And that peg is going to plug into that little claw right there, like so, okay? Just remember that. And then this claw is plugged into this arm, and this arm is just a calf plugged into the um, the blade and then the fist is plugged in right there. All right. And so um, how do I have this? Oh my God, it's so confusing. Okay. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. So you take that claw and you plug it in like so, okay? Then you take this part, then you plug it in like so. There we go. There we go. Now it's all kind of coming together. And then you get this guy, that little hole right there. You plug that back here, I believe, on the heel. Yeah, let me compare it to the other side.
Does it look the same? Oh, and then like I said, you get this bit and you plug it up top. Does it look the same? And this piece is all falling off. Man, I'm so sorry guys. I tried to do a good job in showing you the tutorial, but this one's a little bit complex and yeah. So it plugs in like that. And then you put the buckler over here. Put the buckler right there to uh, block everything. I think that's about right. Oh my gosh. I gotta chill out. I'm getting angry right now. So, one more time. Maybe I can just show it to you. You can pause this and like, nah, it's a little bit difficult to figure out. Remove the arm. Arm is the calf, the blade thing, and a hand plugged in. Easy, right? This arm is gonna plug in here. Remove the face, the buckler, so you can see a little bit better. And what's going on over here is there is a frilly thing with the claw plugged in at the top and the heel, right? And then that peg on the other side is plugged into this calf. And that calf has a peg extended and that's plugged into that little, um, the little hole by the side of the thumb, ankle, or whatever you want to call it and extend that back and then you plug into this this other thing over here, this other claw. But this other claw, what's gonna happen is it's going to plug in um, right there. And that one is gonna plug in right there. So um, bear with me guys, I hope you can kind of follow this. And so here, I'm just gonna hopefully recreate this for y'all. Take the frilly bit, plug it in like so. Um, put this in later. Take this bit and plug it in like so. Like that. Extend that peg out. Extend that peg out, plug it in, like so. All right, now what's happening? Take a... Uh, Take this claw bit, um, plug it in like, plug it in like so right here, and then take this bit and plug it in like so. Oh lord! And dude, now I can't. Yeah, I guess it was just like that. I guess the I guess this wasn't plugged into the back. Maybe it was. I don't know at this point, and I think I kind of don't care. You take this, and then you plug this up through the top, like so, so that it um, blocks it. <laughs> you know what? This might be one of my worst tutorials. And um, see, that it just goes to show when you're not in a good state of mind and you're trying to do stuff, it's going to flummox you. It's going to mess up. It's going to mess you up. Or it's going to mess me up at least. So try to be in a good state of mind, clear head um, while you're doing stuff is because it's only going to help you um, to have lucid thoughts. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. And use the buckler to kind of cover up all that junk nonsense. Same thing over here. And you plug in the one arm over here and you plug in the other arm <laughs> oh lord yeah and i think that's it or i can't tell if this was plugged in up at the top i don't think it was 
Let me see if I can actually try to make it. Okay, maybe it was. So that it was plugged so that was plugged in back here and once you have everything in there it's very very firm and solid just because there's so many points of connection but um sorry about that yeah so it was plugged in back there i think i think it was i think it was that looks right right and then this was here is that right? Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. Took a cool minute. Took a cool minute. But anyway, I'm going to leave it on that, man. Sometimes these builds flummox me. And I'm the one who built them. You know what I mean? Uh, that was a chore. That was a chore. So if you're able to follow along and put that together, kudos. Good for you. Good for you. Well, got stuck there for a second. But eh, we figured it out. And you know what, since I'm here, since I'm doing this, I'm just going to put them back together for the sake of principle. And I'm going to plug in that part in the back. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. I am Botbender Orange, and I am thoroughly vexed, tired, and <laughs> really about to throw in the towel right now. So if you watch to the end, thanks so much, gang. I really appreciate it. And uh, once again, I apologize for all the stumbling in the middle of the video. But um, I hope you have fun building this, and I hope you enjoy building this. And I hope your spindle is a lot more uh, stable, stabler, spindler, stabler, stable than mine is. Okay? Have fun, gang. Take it easy. Bye.